This film was produced by French documentary director between 1961 and 1962 during his visit to Iran. Harvard University improved the quality of the film in 2008. The film portrays different stages of the field activities of the team from epidemiology department of the Pasteur Institute of Iran. It is about the tragedy of the plague outbreak in the borders of Kurdistan and focuses on the research center for imaging and reimaging infectious diseases in Akinlu Hamadan. In the Kurdistan border area, the campaign against plague. The research and field team of the epidemiology department of the Pasteur Institute of Iran in Kurdistan. Producer and director, Baroness Mary Thres. 1947 saw a serious outbreak of plague in the village of Akbalak Morshed. The traditional doctor in the region, Hakimi, informed the Ministry of Health of the incident and asked for emergency help. Akbalak Morshed village is located in Bijar, Kurdistan province. It is south of Urumia Lake and 560 kilometers from Tehran. The traditional doctor talked to Dr. Baltazad, director of the Pasteur Institute of Iran, about his observations in connection with the deadly disease. It was winter and rather cold. Travel was impossible too because of the bumpy roads. By the time the first team from the Pasteur Institute of Iran arrived in the region to investigate the outbreak, more than 50 new graves had been added to the previous ones. Right from the beginning of the outbreak, the southern part of Urumia Lake was constantly monitored by teams from Pasteur Institute of Iran. They studied the plague, which had a 2,000-year history. The investigating team entered Hamadan, not far from Avicenna's town. This was a famous Iranian physician who contributed significantly to the world of medicine. In final step, the cars were filled with the gas and the group set out the village of Akbalak Moshet. Rencontrant en chemin les paysans se rendant à la ville. On the way to the region, villages could be seen going to Hamadan to sell their products. In the holy book Bible, Hamadan is called Ekbatan and was used as a summer camp for Achaemenian kings because of its cool climate. La douceur des vergers contraste avec la sévérité des hautes montagnes. The traditional culture is still popular.
The vast watermelon farms provide sources of income for the local people. Comme aussi les champs de blé dans la plaine fertile, pied du mont Elvand. Different types of agricultural products are harvested even at the edges of the deserts. In the spring, the land is covered with eye-catching wild plants. The wild tulip, which grows widely in this area, has also found its way to other parts of the world. Long hours of driving are required to reach in this wonderful and mysterious land, with its special topography and invincible fortress. Finally, the team from the Pastor Institute of Iran arrive at Akanlu village, about 30 kilometers far away from Arpalak Morshed, and the work began. Various pieces of equipment, including the laboratory instruments, sleeping facilities, fragile staff, as well as boxes containing hundreds of rodent traps had to be repositioned in the proper locations. The laboratory and the team's living quarters were donated by Manucher Karagozlu, one of the landlords of Akinlu village. A stream provided water to wash dishes for use in the laboratory.
the cars which had been garaged for a long time and needed servicing. The sky gradually turned dark, and at the midnight it suddenly started to rain. The rain was so intense that the mud was washed from the walls and the lab roof. Elle tombera avec une telle insistance que les murs de terre battus, mélangés de paille, en sont tout imprégnés. Pourtant, dès l'aube, le soleil luit à nouveau et les troupeaux partent à la recherche de pâturage. In the morning, the land became dry again and the villagers took their sheep to graze the fields. On the way, the group finds a rather strange insect called scarab. Early in the morning, the team starts work. The ground which was muddy the previous night has now dried. In some parts, it is still muddy and cars find it difficult to navigate the puddles. In this scene, farmers can be seen busy plying the land. The research group is looking for the rodent nests in order to find the traces of the plague. In Iran, source of plague is not rats, but rather the main source of disease is a specific rodent called Merenes prisicus. After taking up position in the target region, the land is then examined meter for meter. The placement of traps start in front of the rodent nests. Some of the rodents have died from the plague. All the mountains and rocks in the area are studied. The cliffs also provide suitable habitats for the rodents.
a good shelter for predatory birds looking for prey. Research groups from the Pasteur Institute of Iran have studied all the areas around the Akhenlu village. During one of their missions, the group director's car becomes stuck in the mud and is pulled free by the rest of the colleagues. Some of the children like the dates and take them from the traps, delaying the researchers' work. The locations of new colonies are shown on aerial photos. The traps are collected every morning. The group also collects the fleece using water taps together with forceps. Saisissant le mérillon derrière l'oreille, délicatement et sans le blesser, il l'immobilise en lui maintenant la queue. Il souffle sur son pelage. When the rodent is held, the animal becomes motionless. By blowing its hairs, the hidden fleas appear and are put into the tubes. The rodents are then set free to be studied later. Les millions remis au piège seront ensuite relâchés. Tambourinant le bois de leurs pattes, Ils font entendre un bruit caractéristique. Les plus flottant dans l'eau sont récoltés une à une. 
The fleas are removed from the water using a special forceps and are put in microtubes containing alcohol. This operation is done in every station and called blowing or solfage. Cette opération, dite soufflage, se renouvelle dans chaque station. The rodents are examined for plague-infected lymph nodes before being freed. Of course, it is possible that they are entrapped again. Timide, mais peu farouche, le mérillon se laisse parfois approcher si l'on agite avec patience. This calm and timid rodent should be studied and relocated with care.
Research has shown that other rodents living in this region are less active and more prone to infection by plague bacteria. The moles making their nest carefully, as even the insectivorous rodents carry fleas on their bodies, they are also examined for signs of plague. It is noticed that a snake crawls into a trap. Even a turtle may carry flea infected with the plague bacteria. When the work is done, the cars return to the village. On the way back to village, we see women going to the spring to fetch water. The women wear traditional dress that includes black trousers, a short vaffle skirt and a vest to which numerous coins have been sewn. Les femmes mariées portent une lourde coiffure qui est souvent décorée de monnaies attachées les unes aux autres en un bandeau. The villagers take advantage of the physician's presence and hurry to present their sicknesses. The research group rests on 2,000 meter high mountainous area under the shade of green trees near a bay. Gradually, a flock of partridge is noticed. On our way to the village, we saw a jackal searching for food. Short distance away, a man is busy hunting, but his shoots are not on target, because it's not easy to shoot on even train. At night, the old lamps are ready. The researchers apply what they have learned from Dr. Baltazar. They classify the samples one by one and station by station. The collected fleas are identified. The dead samples in the traps are atopsed. The alive samples are either kept in the lab for further studies or free to be used in subsequent environments.
The abdomen and chest of the samples are opened. The spleen, lung and lymph nodes of the thighs are taken and injected into the mice guna pig and the smears of the samples are examined under a microscope. La rate, un morceau du foie, un morceau de poumon, s'il existe quelques congestions des poumons, les ganglions, s'ils sont engorgés, sont prélevés et broyés pour examen microscopique et inoculation à l'animal sensible. A sample of the crash tissue is spread on the microscope slide and then mixed with a few drops of estrile water. A few drops of this water are cultured on the growth media. De ces gouttes, l'une est ensemencée sur une plaque de gélose spéciale pour recherche du bacille pesteux par culture. Dans Then it is located in the incubator at 28 to 30 degrees centigrade. Following incubation, the plague colonies can be easily seen because of their special characteristics that can be seen with the naked eye. The results are plotted on the map of the area. Any samples from rodents are shown in a specific color. Dr. Balthazard and his colleagues are constantly continuing their research in this area. It is a good time for taking photos of the memorable moments. It is also a great opportunity for people of Orbalag Morshad village to show their hospitality. The research group is invited to take part in the marriage ceremony. In this ceremony, a special kind of dance is noticed, in which the men hold their hands in a special way while dancing in circles. The women watch this ceremony from the balconies. The dancers dance with a handkerchief in this way expressing their thanks to Dr. Balthazar and his team.
It is interesting to know that as a non-Muslim, Balthazar who takes part in the religious mourning of Tazia. sur les toits en gradin ou à l'ombre des murs pour assister au spectacle. Le tarier, récit du martyr des saints mahométans, est suivi avec intérêt. Le chanteur en art les péripéties. Un samovar placé sur l'estrade. The samovar is boiling. It helps quench the thirst of the research team. The tradition of Tazia lasts several days. Et leur mise à mort met fin au Tazia qui dure plusieurs jours. The results of the team's research are published in the form of articles such as the paper written by the Dr. Seyedian and Dr. Baltazar. Similarly, articles by Dr. Otsi about different activities of the Pasteur Institute of Iran in Syria, Indonesia and other countries. The Pasteur Institute of Iran, which is built with the support of the government, has paved the way for more research in this area in order to study naturally occurring phenomena with scientific methods. Les laboratoires très modernes ont été construits avec l'aide du gouvernement Voice of Balthazar. Uh, the plague uh, transmission cycle uh, is being investigated and the re results will be announced. Under a better and more exciting conditions, uh, cultures from uh, the uh, infected uh, tissues uh, on the gross media uh, will be implemented and uh, re examined. Au microscope, l'ensemencement sur boîte de culture et l'inoculation aux animaux de laboratoire peuvent être faits dans les meilleures conditions. Ici, after uh, transmitting uh, the solution to the skin of the lab animals, uh, the uh, symptoms of the disease are uh, classified 
and the uh, presence of the plague is uh, proven uh, when um, the skin reactions uh, become noticeable. End of voice. Finally, it is clarified that the Persian jet Marinus Persicus is a part of the plague transmission cycle in Akhbalak Morshed in Kurdistan. It can therefore be assumed that the Pasteur Institute of Iran has played a central role in maintaining the health of thousands of people all over the world by studying the plague and producing vaccines.